With majority of the listed companies on Uganda's principal stock market multinational and large enterprises, enrollment hasn't come in handy for the small and medium size as it is with women-owned enterprises. The current initiative undertaken by the Uganda Securities Exchange and respective stakeholders is to attract women investment in the market, utilizing stocks, bonds, mutual funds and exchange-traded funds. We are able to help companies raise money. Now, these companies must have a minimum capital of 500 million and at least three years of, uh, of accounting and financial um, reporting books. What we do is that we help these businesses raise capital. But under the theme of women empowerment, we are going to uh, pursue women-led businesses to ensure that they can access capital through the stock market, but also promote investments and savings for women. Amid its challenges such as unmatched potential insurer fundamentals on capital needs and future prospects, latest provisions for small and medium enterprises on the exchange are still unconvincing to some players. For instance, the minimum capital requirement for 500 million shillings. If investors who provide capital have a minimum size of capital they are able to invest. Some start from as low as uh, one million dollars, others stretch to as higher as a minimum of ten million dollars. So 500 million looks at uh, a minimum of some small companies but that are growing, growth companies that have potential to expand as uh, a, an opportunity because wouldn't want to promote the small companies and not be able to raise for them capital. Um, as I mentioned from UN Women, uh, UN Women, we have our strategic note uh, which is from 2022 to 2025 and through that strategic note we have quite a number of activities which we do with women. For instance on agriculture, you know, we help women on uh, engaging in climate smart agriculture or now we call climate resilience agriculture. So women can empower economically, women can be empowered. Sector players in the telecommunications industry have still underlined financial inclusion as key in promoting gender equality for individuals and businesses to access affordable financial products and services that suit their needs. We are also at the forefront of promoting financial inclusion through our mobile money platform, which has enabled millions of Ugandans, including women, to access financial services and improve their livelihoods. With over 11 million mobile money subscribers and over 165,000 agents, a significant of these are either owned or operated by women, which has enabled them to be able to access financial services, improve their livelihoods and participate in the growth of the economy. In line with the investment drive, recently the Deputy Speaker Honorable Thomas Taebwa interested Ugandans to invest in the stock markets as a growth strategy with reliable access to capital acquisition through equity and debt instruments.